another brick fan with a look at the video Bandmates Series 1 minifigures. Video is a new theme released in March 2021. And as a part of this theme, they released a essentially minifigure series. This is called Bandmates. Each of these figures comes with a stand that includes three beat bits, which are two by two printed tiles that are used to interact with the video application that, that was developed by Lego. This is essentially a 12 minifigure collectible minifigure series. And it has, as such, it has a couple of really great standout characters in my mind. I think my favorite is prob probably the shark, which is right here up front. You can see him is in that nice teal color, that really cool shark head with the coral colored mohawk, I thought turned out really well. One of the others that I like a lot, which is here in the back, is the alien keytarist. I remember there's a lot of keytar music that was done in the 80s, which was really fun. So that's a nice figure to get. The character with the most unique name is Disc Cowboy or Disco Boy, who is here in the blue cowboy hat. Good looking figure and certainly a very interesting name. Let's first take a look at the beat bits that come with all of these characters, and then we will take a look at each individual character as we move along. Taking a look at all the beat bits that come with these minifigures, the way I understand it, each one comes with its own specific beat bit, and then two random ones. Each of these minifigures come with three, so a set of 12 comes with 36 of these beat bits. And as you can see, here, are they, here they all are. They each come with this 2x6 plate in order to put the three beat bits on and there's a couple of pieces there to allow it to stand up and subsequently create a stand for the minifigures as well. As you can see, some of these are really nice with a, some kind of a metallic finish like this one here, uh, this one down here. A lot of them have this kind of shiny metallic look and there's just a variety of these. I believe there's over 200 of these already produced and I'm sure they're going to be producing more and more of them. They, I believe, are designed to represent either album covers or specific dance moves perhaps that interact with the application. Let's go ahead and take a look at the minifigures. First up we have Ice Cream Saxophonist and Samu Rapper. This is a newer headpiece here I really like with the chocolate ice cream and a cherry that's actually in purple here on our saxophonist. He has this golden pearl gold saxophone as his accessory. He has some suspenders and it looks like melted chocolate and maybe a strawberry type ice cream. Here he's got nice printing of kind of a waffle cone look on his legs. Interestingly, his hands are two different colors, so we have a pink hand on his right hand and a blue hand on his left hand. Our Samu wrapper has this nice big head, this nice big helmet on his head here in this purple. He has one of these breathing apparatus or filters here. There's a tiger printed on his teal shirt underneath here. And then he has some silver printing down here and some of that spring green printing all the way down to some silver toe printing down here. Nice jacket that goes over his tiger shirt. Going around to the side, you see that our ice cream saxophonist has the kind of, again, flowing chocolate and maybe some sprinkles there as side printing. Going around to the back, you see the suspenders for our ice cream guy and then some writing here on the back of our samurai. No alternate expression. I don't think any of these bandmates have alternate expressions. So go ahead and move back to the front. Next up we have Shark Singer and DJ Cheetah. As I mentioned in the opening, the Shark Singer is probably my favorite. 
Like many of the others, he has some metallic printing there. You can see as he moves in the light a little bit. Good printing all the way down the legs. I like the teal coloring for the arms and for this headpiece, that huge shark grin. And this coral color, which came back with a Lego Movie 2 sets, really pops against that teal of the shark. Super detailed leather vest, it looks like, that our shark is wearing. Our cheetah has blue spots on his kind of brighter yellow face, and then he has the teal colored hair or mane that kind of goes down between his ears here. This light green or spring green jacket looks like he's wearing a ID badge here and a star around his neck. He has a record here and then good printing down his legs. He's wearing a nice pair of pink pants in this case. As you can see, the shark has good printing all the way down the sides and you really get a good look at that coral colored mohawk for him. You also see the tail for the cheetah, once again in that yellow, which matches up really nicely here. And then it has the blue kind of cheetah pattern there. Our shark has good printing on the back here. Shark head fits on there quite tightly. But you can see he has this pirate print on the back with some seashells, a starfish, and a pink tongue. So that's kind of interesting printing there. Like I said, that shark head fits very snugly onto this minifigure body. We have the back of the teal hair for our cheetah, and then some more printing here on the back of his light green jacket. Next up, we have Genie Dancer and Dis Cowboy. Like I said in the opening, the Dis Cowboy definitely gets the best name out of all of these characters. Like the dark blue hat, dark blue pants. He has the chaps there. You can see printed there. The good cowboy tasseled shirt, the Western style shirt. I like this Genie bottom here. Done in this darker pink and then there's some metallic printing on top of that, which turned out really well. You can see her sash here, and then she has a tambourine piece, as you can see. So this that's kind of cleverly done where they did the circular cutout in the middle so it gets that tambourine look. So I think that accessory turned out really well. She has this bright pinkish hair that she's got on as well. More of this teal coloring, as you can see. Interestingly, there's no printing on the back of the mermaid of the genie tail, which would have been nice. She does have this very long hair piece in this nice new color. The purple skin head, which matches the hands, and then more good printing here on the back. You see that musical note in there and some metallic sheen on that. Here is our disc cowboy with the back of his western shirt, and it looks like he's got a horse right here in the middle of his back on that shirt. Next up we have the Red Panda Dancer and the Banshee Singer. The Red Panda Dancer is more orange it looks like to me, although his hair is kind of a reddish brown look. Good printing here for his face. He is carrying a boom box in this light gray color. Very nice printing along his legs here, matches up very nicely with the torso. I like the orange stripe there to indicate maybe a belt or some skin showing through for him. Got a good jacket on that's done in this purple with a black shirt underneath and you can see his necklace there as well as some, uh, it looks like a fanny pack that he's wearing around his stomach there. The Banshee looks like she's got the Bellatrix Lestrange hair piece here which I think looks really appropriate. She has these shoulder pauldrons as well. Looks like she's wearing a lock around her and some chains perhaps and a corset. As I pointed out in the beginning, this is kind of that mold that was used, I believe originally for Dementors in the Harry Potter series, but it has been recolored a couple of different times. So this is the first time I've seen it in this dark green. 
It was also used in some of the hidden side sets in a lighter green. And I like the spring green and the very light green hands here. She has that same color for her head and this big expression, big smile on her face. If you look along the side, you see this nice panda bear tail here in the orange and darker red, kind of matching the headpiece. You see he's got kind of a lizard or maybe a dragon dinosaur print here on the back of his jacket. You see that hair, which is kind of similar to the hair that we saw on the DJ Cheetah, although in a different color. Then here's the back of the Banshee again, more chains. Looks like some keys there and another lock on her back. Next up, we have our Alien Key Tarist and our Cotton Candy Cheerleader. The Alien Key Tarist here has this nice hairpiece with the antenna and the purple hair. The antenna and the headpiece match really well. And you can see the orange sleeves and he's got this futuristic, lots of circles and things like, kind of looks like crop circles to me. Probably a, a throwback or hint towards crop circles here on the Looks like a muscle shirt that he's wearing. It's some kind of, it looks like a UFO perhaps on his necklace there. Leg printing that goes down with this a little bit more of this orange pattern on his knees. The cheerleader has these great pom-pom pieces that I was talking about earlier. Lots of really good texture in these. They look really nice. And this is a new piece, for, at least from what I've seen. May have been in other sets. This is the same hairpiece that you are used to seeing with Harley Quinn, although this is a recolor of that, obviously in these lighter cotton candy colors. She has a cotton candy emblem here on her shirt. I think the printing on the legs matches up really well. It looks like these are dual molded legs with some pink white down here with some pink accents on them. Moving around, she does have some side printing here on her leg, which I think turned out really nicely. And then the back is more of a continuation of, like I said, those kind of crop circle look. And then the back of her shirt has these fine details as well. Like I said, I haven't seen, none of these have alternate expressions. More printing on this other side, kind of an indication of a skirt, I guess, that she's wearing. And some more pleats here in the front. So very nice detailed printing on all of these figures. Our last two figures are the Bunny Dancer and the Werewolf Drummer. So our Bunny Dancer has this very nice bunny head. I like the printing around the eyes. She's got some good makeup around her eyes, which really make them turn out. She has some, looks like silver dust or little dots throughout her shirt and pants. She is carrying a boom box in this nice teal color. Like the other animals are panda and cheetah. Her hair kind of goes in between her ears and she does have this kind of maroon or purple, reddish purple colored hair. Here's our wolf. This is similar to the werewolf head I've seen out of the Harry Potter series or perhaps one of the older haunted themes that we've had. So I'm not sure, certain that is brand new. He does have a couple of bones, which I'm guessing those are his drumsticks. You can see his pants are torn down here and he does have claws printed on his feet, which I think was a, a good touch. And he's wearing a Black leather jacket, there's a little teal lightning bolt here, a couple other small details printed in the jacket. Looking to the side, he has kind of that bushy tail in a solid silver or solid uh, gray color. Legs look dual molded here with a little bit of side printing down on the bottom. Here's the back of our bunny dancer, kind of an 80s look where she has a 
loose shirt with a big collar or kind of around a you know, tank top or leotard type look. Back of our werewolf's jacket. There is a howling werewolf and then some writing there up above it. No printing. And here's the, again, some more printing on the side of his leg. So there we have a close look at all 12 of these bandmates figures. Let's go back and I'll give you my final thoughts. I really like these minifigures. I think they're all very colorful. They have very new, they all have very unique prints. Lots of new pieces used or recoloring of some existing pieces. The Banshee has that trans green base, which I've seen also used in Harry Potter and in the Hidden Side series. So that looks really nice in that trans green color. And lots of new head molds here. So the ice cream saxophonist, for example, the DJ Cheetah, the red panda dancer, and of course the shark singer all have these new head pieces which I thought turned out really nicely. There are a few recolors. So like our cotton candy cheerleader has the Harley Quinn hair piece there done in this teal blue and pink colors. Those pom poms that she comes with, I believe are a brand new piece. Some pieces are reused here, obviously. Lots of microphones for our various singers. I've seen the saxophone before. I think I've even seen a keytar before, but not in this teal color. This really is more of a blind bag experience than the collectible minifigures. These are packaged in these boxes, which makes it much more difficult to feel the figures and to determine which one is in which box. So it is a more true type blind bag experience if that's what you're looking for. As a full collection, I think it looks really good. I haven't tried them out with the video app, but I may take a look at that in the future. I hope you enjoyed my thoughts on this Bandmates Series 1. I'm going to get started on my next video. And until then, happy building.